What's up guys, if iOS Pro and today, Apple has released iOS 14 Beta 3 to all developers today. Came about 600 megabytes on my iPhone XR here. On my iPhone 11, I installed it. Build number is 18A5332F. And there are a bunch of big changes in this update today. And this first one is, Apple has finally added the clock widget that they showed in their demo. So to get to this, you have to go and you have to go to edit home screen, click the plus button. Now we scroll down here. Previously on the beta two on the left, you didn't have it, but now on beta three, you have a clock widget right here, option right here. So really nice to see it's finally there. So I no longer have to check my watch anymore to see a time. Like if my watch is charging, like up here, like where I am right now and somewhere else, I can finally see a clock widget right from my home screen, which is an awesome change, Apple. So Really nice new widget there. Okay guys, so this next big change is with the music app. You notice that in iOS 14 beta 3 here, they've changed it back to the old iOS 7 icon. So here's my iPhone 4 running iOS 7. You notice that the icon has have been changed back to the old iOS 7 icon. So really cool change. You notice in iOS 14 beta 2 here, we have the iOS 9 one. So as 8.4 introduced this icon, but now Apple's changed it back to iOS 7 icon up to 8.3. So 8.3 and below had this icon just like iOS 7 did. So you see iOS 7 on the iPhone 4 had this icon, so it's very similar, but not as reflective though. So really, really cool icon changer, Apple. And this change is also present in the widgets view as well. So we go to plus here, you notice you get the same new music app icon right here inside the add widgets button. So they changed it from iOS 8.4 music app icon to the iOS 7 icon. So I like the iOS 7 icon better because it stands out more, makes it easier to find your music app, so really cool change your Apple. Okay guys, so this next one is on the music app. So you notice in iOS 14 beta 2 here, we had no icons here from iOS 10 up to iOS 14 beta 2. We didn't have any icons here, but now Apple's added back the icon from iOS 7. So previously in iOS 7 here, you had all these extra icons here, but now Apple's finally added them back in 14 beta 3. So the icons are a nice addition, so you uh, since the icons stand out now, you can now find which tab you want to go to a lot easier and quicker than you could on here. So previously, if you looked on beta 2 here, you notice it's very hard to find where you are if you want to scroll down or something, but you notice it's hard to see up here. But now with the icons, because it's so much easier for you guys to see what, which tab you want. So awesome change your Apple. Nice little addition bring back from iOS 7, so really cool. Okay guys, so this next change is inside the settings app here. So now... Previously, when you with the privacy here, you'll notice that it had the old music app icon from iOS 8.4 and up to 14 beta 2. But now Apple's changed it down in here as well. So it now reflects the new icon from iOS 14 beta 3 and iOS 7 as well. So really cool change there. And also, if you scroll down, they also updated it inside the settings down here as well. So they changed the icon for the music here too. So previously on 8.4 up to iOS 14 beta 2, we had this icon. But now it's changed back to the iOS 7 look, which is a nice change for Apple. Music now stands out easier and won't blend in on your home screen. So really, really cool change for Apple. Okay guys, so this next one is in the weather app. Previously, when we scroll down here, you notice if for example location, you had this button here for weather in New York. Basically open the Maps app, but you couldn't tell what it does. But now Apple's adding additional text for open a map. So now it tells you you can open in a map and look at the weather for the current location. So basically when you click that, it'll take you to the current location where the weather's being tracked from. So really nice little text changer, Apple. Makes it easier to tell what you guys want to click or see. So a nice little changer, Apple. Okay guys, so this next one is in the podcast app. So previously down here, you'll notice that we had the old browse icon that looks just like the old podcast app on the home screen. But now they changed it to have the same icon as music now. So you notice they have the exact same look and icon as the music app for browse. So really nice little addition there, Apple. Just trying to make everything clean and match with the OS before the final release. So, really cool change, Apple. Okay, guys, so this next one is when you're editing home screen, you'll notice that down here in beta 2 here, you notice the icon for the page you click is like very bold here. But now Apple's made it thinner now. So, you guys see it's very clear. You, you see Apple's made it thinner now, just like it was on beta 1. So, really cool change there, Apple. So, a little nice tweak, make sure everything is the exact same size and everything. So, nice change. Okay, so this last change is inside the settings app. Previously, when you went to photos here, you have memories. You couldn't reset the memories tab at all. You couldn't reset the memory they were suggesting. But now, on iOS 14 beta 3, you can do the new option here for reset suggested memories. So, this wasn't here in beta 2, so really nice change for Apple. And a nice little reset button to like reset your photos app. So it won't display the same things over and over again. 
Yep, so that's pretty much it for this video. If I like the video, give it a thumbs up for the video. Peace.